On this Monday, September the 7th, our service of morning prayer begins on page 80. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Alleluia. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. The Jubilate, page 82. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God, he himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Our psalmody this morning is Psalms 41 and 52, beginning on page 641 and then going to page 657, Psalms 41 and 52. Happy are they who consider the poor and needy. The Lord will deliver them in the time of trouble. The Lord preserves them and keeps them alive so that they may be happy in the land. He does not hand them over to the will of their enemies. The Lord sustains them on their sickbed and ministers to them in their illness. I said, Lord, be merciful to me. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. My enemies are saying wicked things about me. When will he die and his name perish? Even if they come to see me, they speak empty words. Their heart collects false rumors. They go outside and spread them. All my enemies whisper together about me and devise evil against me. A deadly thing, they say, has fastened on him. He has taken to his bed and will never get up again. Even my best friend, whom I trusted, who broke bread with me, has lifted up his heel and turned against me. But you, O Lord, be merciful to me and raise me up, and I shall repay them. By this I know you are pleased with me, that my enemy does not triumph over me. In my integrity you hold me fast, and shall set me before you your face forever. Blessed be the Lord, God of Israel, from age to age. Amen. Amen. You tyrant, why do you boast of wickedness against the godly all the day long? You plot ruin. Your tongue is like a sharpened razor, O worker of deception. You love evil more than good and lying more than speaking the truth. You love all words that hurt, O you deceitful tongue. Oh, that God would demolish you utterly, topple you and snatch you from your dwelling and root you out of the land of the living. The righteous shall see and tremble and they shall laugh at him, saying, This is the one who did not take God for a refuge, but trusted in great wealth and relied upon wickedness. But I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the mercy of God forever and ever. I will give you thanks for what you have done and declare the goodness of your name in the presence of the godly. Glory to the Father, Father and, and to the, the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to John. There was a, again a division among the Jews because of these words. Many of them said that he has a demon and he is mad. Why listen to him? Others said, these are not the sayings of one who has a demon. Can a demon open the eyes of the blind? It was the feast of the dedication at Jerusalem. It was winter and Jesus was walking in the temple in the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you and you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness to me. But you do not believe because you do not belong to my sheep. My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. And I give them eternal life and they shall never perish and no one shall snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of my Father's hand. I and the Father 
are one. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Song of Simeon, page 93. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see. A light to enlighten the nations in the glory of your people Israel. Glory, glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and will be forever. Amen. The prayer is beginning on page 97. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O God of boundless mercy, whose handmaiden Cassiani brought forth poetry and song, inspire in your church a new song that following her most excellent example, we may boldly proclaim the truth of your word, even Jesus Christ, our Savior and Deliverer. Amen. We turn to page 392. In peace we pray to you, Lord God, for all people in their daily life and work, for our families, friends, and neighbors, and for those who are alone, for this community, the nation, and the world, for all who work for justice, freedom, and peace, for the just and proper use of your creation, for the victims of hunger, fear, injustice, and oppression, for all who are in danger, sorrow, or any kind of trouble, for those who minister to the sick, the friendless, and the needy, for the peace and unity of the Church of God, for all who proclaim the gospel and all who seek the truth. For all bishops and other ministers. And for all who serve God in his church. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings of this life. We will exalt you, O God, our King. And praise your name forever and ever. We pray for all who have died, that they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. Lord, let your loving kindness be upon them. Who put their trust in you. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.